I forgot how I greet people, Duncan here from Anudox, and welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're gonna work on the play command. Today's video is proudly powered by our partner, Oxide Hosting. Get your products hosted by them with their cheap, reliable services. So what are you waiting for? Check them out in the description below. To get started with the play command, we're gonna make a new command in our commands and music package. Next to the join command, this is going to be the play command. This play command will of course implement our i command interface and overwrite all the methods it needs. The name is going to be a very simple play and the help is going to be as follows. Plays a song with a double exclamation mark and the YouTube link. And I say here YouTube link, but for now we're just gonna play a static video or the tutorial will get way too complex. To get started, we will need to add a few variables. These variables are the text channel, the self member and the voice state of the self member. Because if our self member is not in a voice channel, we will say, I need to be in a voice channel for this to work. Why are you lighting up? It may produce a null pointer exception. So voice state. Why is this nullable? Let's see. This requires the cache flag voice state to be enabled. Well then, let's see if we have that cache flag enabled in our bot. In our bot main file, we can see enable cache voice state. And because we have this enabled, we can just say suppress this warning. I do suggest only suppressing warnings when you know that it's okay to suppress them, because otherwise you might get weird stuff that you don't want. But in this case, because we have it enabled, we can suppress it fine. Next up, when we know that we are in a voice channel, we can get the voice state of the member. And again, we do the same check, but for the member voice state. And here we say, if the member is not in a voice channel, uh, we're going to send a message, you need to be in a voice channel for this command to work. Because if the command does, because we want to join the voice channel that the member is in. Finally, we're going to add another check, which is member voice state dot get channel equals self voice state dot get channel. And if it's not equal, we're going to say you need to be in the same voice channel as me, me being the bot, for this to work. And then we can very easily player manager dot get instance dot load and play channel and the track URL. And why does this have private access? This needs to be public. So now that this is public, we can access it. We can hit load and play with this video. What video is that? Okay, that's no copyright sounds. That's totally fine for me to play. Anyway, so now that this is done, we will need to do one more thing and that is register the command on our command manager, play command and hit run. And now that our bot has been booted up, we can join a voice channel. Weird, for some reason the bot didn't have access to the channel. Okay, anyway, let's make the bot join my... Someone messed with the permissions on the server. Let's try again. There we go. Now the bot is connected. Now we can say play, and because we only have a static video for now, we're gonna change it in the next episode. We can say play, and... And that's how you make a play command that only plays one URL. I hope you liked this tutorial. If you did, leave a like, subscribe to Manudox if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time with a new tutorial. And in that new tutorial, we're gonna expand the play command to be a bit better. Goodbye.